Welcome to the DIY3DTech.com channel. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to Utilities and we're going to scroll down. We're going to hit Calibrate and we're going to say yes, we are sure. And then we're going to start the calibration process. Now this takes a little bit. Again, the extruders have to heat up. The platform has to heat up. So we'll come back in a minute when this uh, starts. Okay, we're back and starting the calibrate mode. Notice it's running the uh, bed up. Take a second here. Notice it has the extruder head sort of in the, what I call the safety position. So it tops it off. I think, I think what it's doing is tapping it off is at its known Z position. You can see from that it's in progress. So it's now cleaning both heads. I believe the reason it's doing that is to make sure that that little probe on the end is uh, clean. See, it's raising the bed. Keep an eye on this far extruder over here, the bottom one. That little dimple at the bottom. See, it's going to reach down, come in contact with that metal plate, and stops and lowers it a set amount. And it brings it forward. And we'll be able to see this one a little bit better. See it come down under the plate, stop. Now it won't do all four, it doesn't have to do all four because it can do three and then triangulate the skew of the bed from that. So okay, we're gonna go do the final one here. And we're gonna come up. And that that completes it. Still reading calibrate in progress, so we'll see what it comes back at. So now it's going back to the home position. Seems to be lowering the bed. Now let's wait to see the magic here. It also seems to come back up to the, the Z position just to test itself. I don't know if it. I'm not sure it can measure any force against that stepper motor or what it's doing, but watch the display now. This is back into a cleaning mode. So we're back to calibrate fail. Hmm. So I'll have to see what that means. I thought after cleaning that, so I'm kind of concerned that there might be a wire off on it. Uh, but I think if you look at these, I think it might be saying that the bed is simply too far off. Um, so if you look at these numbers, they seem to be pretty big. So there's several adjustment screws down here so I'm going to try adjusting those up a little bit to see if this changes the number and then rerun the um, piece. So uh, again I think it's showing that these these two numbers might be too far off this number because I'm assuming this is the, the far back post. That this is one, two, three or vice versa. So we'll try doing some adjusting and see. Be back in a few minutes. Okay, so we finally received success. It was not uh, easy. It probably took about um, 
10 or 15 uh, tries. So one of the things that uh, I did want to go through is the reading of these numbers as uh, they're a little bit different than I thought. I just had to look over. So basically the first number is 1, 2, 3. So 1 is the back point back here. 2 is this point right here. 3 is this point right here. Now when we look at the underside of the bed, notice that there's another screw right here. So you have the two screws in front, or thumb screws I guess, uh, and then you have this one down here. So you basically, eh, the light goes out, so, so basically you have those three to adjust. And then so you have to get the settings within 20, I guess, increments of one another. So if it's further than 20, it can't adjust itself. Because what it's doing is basically when the G-code gets sent to it, it reads the G-code's position and it knows a numeric offset based upon that, um, that, that measurement or that calibration from the location of the bed. So it actually adjusts the G-code on the fly for that. So um, again, if you're having problems with the, uh, you know, the calibration, and also your first print sticking down well, I would suggest making this change. Now, one of the things I'm going to do is, is kind of try to adjust this a little bit tighter. Uh, I think the less adjustment it has to make, probably the better. The other, the other piece that I'm also doing, because when you do this, basically what happens is you're squaring it up to, to these cross beams, to the X and Y axis is what you're doing. So it, it, it's, it's still not level, it's actually just square. So, and so if we put the, if we put the level on it, what I've, what I've done is I've actually also built a bed leveler. Now I actually had built this originally for the CNC machine and so I took it and just want to try it, see how it works. Uh, because the table that it's sitting on isn't perfectly level. Now this basically levels it out perfectly and again if this is a value I'm going to build one dedicated to it. So so basically what I've already done is I've, I've leveled this way. Now again I'm just using this for demonstration purposes. I had lowered the bed um, to do this before and so first you want to go in this direction, I'd say the X axis, and then you want to go in the Y, and as you can see, it's pretty much, uh, you know, it's basically dead on level. So again, uh, what we don't want to be doing is fighting with gravity, so we have it um, kind of mathematically aligned with the axis as they're squared up, but, you know, also we don't want to be fighting gravity, and, and again, um, I could probably adjust it up a little bit more there, but that's actually pretty good. I'll do some more, but anyways, just want to share this. So if you're having problems uh, with uh, the calibration of your first uh, print sticking, uh, basically follow through this, and eventually uh, you'll have to have a lot of patience, but you can get there. And again, the adjustment on these screws are, are, are just very light adjustments, so a little bit goes a long way, so don't get too wild. The other thing I did is I actually used the um, scale to measure the distances, and as you can see this between the bed and that to approximate it, which helped me get it very close. Also I wrote down the numbers on a piece of paper um, so I could keep track of which direction I was going in, so uh, again just some helpful hints, so hopefully this helped.